It's a new day in Columbus, and nobody seems to be missing Urban Meyer. Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, breaking down every schedule in the Power Five. We have started our journey in the Big Ten. We've arrived at the Big Ten champion for three consecutive years, Ohio State, 12-0 in the regular season this past season. In 2019, Ryan Day's first complete season in Columbus, of course, and they look to be the odds-on favorite to win the whole thing again in the Big Ten in 2020. You see the W's and the T's next to the individual games. That means those are near guarantee, near guarantee wins. And then what we would consider to be not necessarily toss-ups, 50-50 toss-ups, but games that could reasonably be argued as a win for the other team in the case of Ohio State. And no, certainly no guaranteed losses against anybody in the country for this football team coming off a dominant showing at 12-0, winning the Big Ten Championship before falling to Clemson in a nail-biter in the college football playoff. All right. Like, comment, share the videos, and subscribe if you love what we're doing here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. If you've seen little of what we've done, we've delivered over 10,000 college football videos over the years. We're here every day delivering content. We talk to the smart fan, the hardcore fan, and if that's not you but you love college football, stay right here. Get educated. We'll talk it up. We deliver live streams multiple times throughout the week, Florida State, Miami, and Ohio State exclusively, and then a number of call-in shows, certainly 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on Sunday night. Please join us for that one in particular. All right, here come the Buckeyes. They will beat Bowling Green probably 70-7. to Then they've got a date at Oregon, a game that uh, many are anticipating is one of the better non-conference games. I rated the 10 top non-conference games. For 2020, and you can check out to see where I ranked Ohio State traveling to Oregon to take on the Ducks. Minus Justin Herbert, but the top two recruiting classes uh, classes in the big in the uh, Pac-12 for the past two years. Mario Cristobal with the Rose Bowl champion there at Oregon should be a great matchup. That I'm surprised to hear, not just Ohio State fans but Oregon fans discount as an Ohio State win. That is going to be an extreme challenge at Autzen Stadium for the Buckeyes in Week 2. Call it a toss-up. Buffalo is the last um, non-conference game for the Buckeyes, playing the Bulls out of the map. Rutgers, barely a Power 5 team. Certainly not as good as many of the group of five teams, and they have been a disaster. But Greg Schiano moves from Ohio State to Rutgers to take over the reins again. He won there once. Will he win again? Well, certainly not against Ohio State in 2020 and probably never. Iowa, Michigan State, Penn State looks like a daunting trio, but consider that Michigan State is not necessarily, we need to refocus on Michigan State. Seven and six the past two years, only three games over 500 the past four years under Mark D'Antonio. And of course, with a new coach coming in from Colorado and Mel Tucker, Michigan State has dropped into that Indiana place, that tier of football, we believe, at this point. But Iowa, of course, uh, beat up Ohio State a few years ago, 2017, in Iowa City. This is a different situation, of course, playing in Columbus. But Iowa, Michigan State, Penn State is certainly a daunting task for the Buckeyes. Penn State has played Ohio State tougher than anybody in the Big Ten since 2016 with a win and two one-point losses and played them to their toughest game, 28-17, in the regular season last year. That should decide, once again, as it has almost every year since 2016, the Big Ten Eastern Division Championship, and therefore the Big Ten Championship, as those two teams have won the last four. Nebraska, will they put it together under Scott Frost? They gave the Buckeyes fits two years ago in Columbus, 36-31. They're back for another go at it, trying to get to bowl play at uh, 5-7 this past season. Indiana has played Ohio State historically tough, not in 2019, though, 51-10 Buckeyes, but uh, the game back in Columbus. Okay, Maryland, Illinois, those games on the road. Of course, the Buckeyes uh, play Illinois, Iowa, and Nebraska. Not an extremely difficult draw as they miss Wisconsin and Minnesota out of the Big Ten Western Division. And then, of course, it's the team up north at home in Columbus taking on Michigan, after a couple blowout wins the past two seasons, 62-39, 56-28.
56-27 this past season, I believe, in Ann Arbor. Ohio State could run the table. That would not shock anyone if they follow up 12-0 with another 12-0 against this schedule. That's a fair schedule, pretty difficult schedule. A uh, game on the road at Oregon, something that the Buckeyes did not face in 2019. Their toughest time conference game, a group of five matchup with Cincinnati at home, winning 42 to nothing. Don't expect that at Oregon. And Ohio State should finish uh, as a Big Ten champion again. They are a huge favorite, uh, the largest favorite of any conference outside of the ACC and Clemson's lock on that conference. Buckeyes coming off 12 and 0, 8 and 0 in the Big Ten, or 9 and 0 in the Big Ten. I've got them going at 11 and 1, 8 and 1. Where's the loss? Our final prediction comes in August. This is a record projection at this point, and we've looked at the schedule. The bye week actually comes before Iowa. Pretty good place for that to be. Probably the only better place for the bye for Ohio State would be after Michigan State, preparing for Penn State. But again, the bye is after Rutgers, before Iowa for Ryan Day and company. Our thoughts on Ohio State football. would love to hear from you. Where can the Buckeyes slip up in 2020? Leave your comments down in the comments section and your record projection on Ohio State football. Like, comment, share the videos out on social media, and subscribe right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. We will see you with the Big Ten Western Division next.